Okay. Yep. Get up. So, I'm sorry. So, the control, this right here is wherever we place. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the primary is going to be the hips. Right. Right? I mean, if you put both your hands on her thighs, then she's going to at least. If you have all your pressure on my thighs, not my hips, my thighs, I'm going to turn and hit. And then you're going to flinch, and I'm going to be able to get my legs. But if your pressure's on my hips, I, I, I might get this. I might get that. But you, you should be getting up. <laughs> yeah. So control the hips. Well, not just in Wing Chun, it's in anything. First thing I gotta do is I gotta face my opponent. So I've gotta twist. I've gotta find a way to twist. If he's controlling, I've got to move it. At this point, you do what's called fight. Right? So let's say your zone is on my back. This is called prone. This is the worst position in the world. Absolute worst. And he's literally on my back, right? Well, then I just have to fight to get to face him. Now I can start to do stuff, right? But as long as I'm prone, there ain't nothing I can do. So if they really know what they're doing, they can lock you down really hard. You just have to wiggle and move. You just, you fight because it's about survival. Now, <laughs> In a street scenario, the idea that they're going to get you in a prone position and then sit on you, just keep you there for no reason, that's not going to happen, especially you. If they've put you prone, they want, there's a certain thing they want to do. They can't stay in contact the whole time. So when they're loosening their contact, you should be moving, <laughs> right? And, and it, but even for a guy, why would I go into a bar fight, get a guy prone, and then sit on him, and then just go? Doo, 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 no, I want to do something, and so I'm going to be moving, and that movement, I need to move with it to create an off balance. So, so in that scenario. Does he stick to it as quarter way close to that apply in the situation if they're facing like that and you want to get up and get out of the way? Well, obviously you're not closing the gap anymore. Because they're already on the ground. They're already on the ground, so you want to get up so you can get away. Right? Now you either want to just get up and get away, or you want to get up and damage them and get away, or you want to get up and make sure that they're unconscious and get away. So the closing the gap doesn't apply. But I got to stick to him the whole time until, until I'm up. 